Hi, today we're interviewing Paul Fiamingo. Paul, what's the name of your business? Gem City Rentals, LLC. And what do you do, Paul? Well, I buy houses, I fix them up, and rent them out or sell them. And how long have you been doing that? I've been doing it 40 years. Wow. Why do you do that? Why do you hold on to them? Well, I hold on to them for the cash flow. I flip them to make cash in order to buy more to, to keep and for my lifestyle. When you're looking at a house, uh, whether you should buy it or not, what are some of the factors that you look at? Well, a couple of the main factors are the bones of the house. Does it have potential? Some houses just have no potential. They were poorly built. They're either on a crawl space that's bad or on a slab, I don't like it, or just has bad layout or was cheaply built. The other important factor is the area. Now, I don't buy in upscale areas. I buy in the city primarily. However, there's a lot of good areas in the city and there's some bad areas. You don't want to be in the very bad areas. You want to be in areas where there's a potential to rent your house to somebody that can pass a credit, criminal, and eviction check. Okay. And how many homes do you own presently? Well, presently I have approximately 35 that I've kept. That's good. And if you were to give advice to somebody new entering the world of business or somebody who wants to expand this, your, a business, what would advice would you give? Well, the main thing is to find what your passion is. If you have a passion for business, find exactly what you want to do. As you know, Bob, most businesses fail. 90% will fail in the first six or eight years, and very few will go on to make a lot of money. The main thing is to find your passion. What do you like doing? There's plenty of information on the internet as far as developing the business, how it works, how to structure it, how to make money with it. But you have to have the passion. Speaking about passion, I heard that you're going to start blogging pretty soon. What's your yes. new blog going to be called? Well, my blog, hometownrealestateinvestor.com. What, what are you going to blog about? Well, primarily it's going to be about fixing up houses in the city. These are older houses, primarily built before 1950. And we're going to go through the various aspects, the heating, cooling, electric, plumbing, woodwork, painting, restoring, windows, roofing, siding, uh, pretty much all aspects of fixing up houses in order to, to make them suitable for rentals or for flipping. So, Paul, having been in the business for so many years and having rehabbed so many homes and owning so many homes, Tell me your best story, your most successful project. Well, I've had some that have made quite a bit of money, but my first one was really my best one. It was over 40 years ago. It was on Jerome Avenue in Bristol, Connecticut. I bought the house. I made over $25,000 net. So that's what really started me. Now, I have had some that have made a lot more than 25000 but well, 25,000 40 years ago was a lot of money, and that's what really got me hooked. And um, <clears throat> knowing what you know now, Paul, at your present age, if you had the opportunity to go back and talk to your 15-year-old self, what advice would you give to yourself? The advice that I would give to myself would be to have bigger goals, think bigger, don't be afraid of borrowing more money. Okay, do you have any other success tips, business tips that you would like to share with people entering the business world? Well, I, as I said before, the most important thing is to find your passion, find your niche. Many years ago, I lived in Newport Beach, California, and during the day, I often went down to the beach, and there would be people painting there. And they would sell their paintings in local art stores. They didn't make any money. They made very little. But that was their passion. They loved painting. Every day they would be painting there. And I would talk to them, and they would say they just loved painting. They didn't care about the money. And that always stuck 
with me, that that was their passion. They didn't care about making the money, although they had to have money to eat. But my advice is find what you like doing and then go after it. So I'm going to post a link to your new blog, hometownrealestateinvestor.com. I'll post it below this video. So folks could, could watch you in your journey of sharing your knowledge with others. That would be really good, Bobby. Thank you. Paul, thanks for being with us today at yesreports.com. Thank you for having me.